Hi there, let's get to it. This is going to be a bit of a detour from the DaVinci Resolve 12 interface. We're about to start looking at a lot of color correction tools and functions, and so that things don't get too overwhelming, I thought I'd clarify what the order of operations is in order for the tools to make a little bit more sense later on in context. Now, the post-production workflow is entirely based on your personal work preference and also on the scope of the project and whether you're working in collaboration with other people or with post-production houses or not. For a lot of colorists, their preferences and the terminology that they use will be based on the software that they first learned to color on. So take all this with a grain of salt. The first step, of course, is to edit the film. If you're not an editor, it is to receive the EDL. In either case, you want to have as close to the final edit as possible. Now, this is doubly true if you're doing something like visual effects or audio mixing. Color correction can be a little bit more forgiving to changes to the order of the clips or to trimming, but it will still require some extra work if you have to start making changes after the fact. Of course, incorporating master timelines, which is what we looked at earlier, can help speed this process up. So I'd recommend integrating that into your workflow. So now what we want to do is neutralize the entire timeline. Some people refer to this as the process of color correction as opposed to color grading. Or it could also be referred to as matching clips to one another. This is a form of primary color correction because it does refer to changing the hues and luminance of the entire frame. So that's our goal, have the scene flow unnoticeably from one clip to the next. The next step is to start applying the creative color grade. Uh, this could also be referred to as a primary stage or primary in because it refers to changing the hue and luminance of the entire frame, but this time for creative purposes. So you start introducing colors, you start playing around with contrast in a way that's not necessarily a natural representation of the environment. You can apply this grade on a scene by scene or a clip by clip basis. After that, we start going after the fine details of the clips. We start adjusting skin tones and skies. We apply chroma or luma based changes. We can add vignettes or use windows and tracking to follow specific areas on the screen. This all refers to secondary color grading. This is when changes are made to only specific areas in a visible shot. This tends to be the most time consuming stage, but also the one where you eliminate as many issues with the footage as possible. And the last stage is to make your final tweaks to the overall grade. So this is also known as primary out, where the entire image or the entire scene or even the entire timeline is affected. Thank you very much for listening and until next time.